You are never gonna believe the type of pants that I got at the thrift store yesterday. How amazing are these pants, okay? I thrifted them for $4, $4. Aren't they like total Gucci-esque pants? Like this super colorful, bright, they're kind of like iridescent almost, trouser type pant. I love them and I got them because I love them, but they're a little bit too big. I just wanted to do a quick little how-to on how I usually take in pants that I get at the thrift store that are just a little bit too big on me. I do this all the time. This is definitely the quickest and easiest method. I don't think it would work the best on like jeans or thicker material like that, but for like a lightweight trouser, it's definitely the way to go. First things first, you're gonna wanna put those puppies on inside out and grab your pin cushion. Full disclosure, we are gonna be taking these in from the back seam and the back seam only. So I pinch in from the back. So since we are taking them in from the back seam, that's where we are going to pin. Take all of that excess fabric that you've pinched in in order to fit your waist nicely and pin right there at the waistband and pinch all the way down that back seam so that it fits you nicely all the way down to your tush. And you're gonna wanna pin those points down, just a couple of them so that you can get a rough idea of what that new fit will look like once you take these off. Now, since I only put a couple of pins in there just to get the fit right. I am going to kind of perfect the pinning so that it lines up to be a straight line and ready to go under my sewing machine. After you get more pins down that new seam, make sure that you try it on at this point before you stitch anything down just to make sure that the fit is perfect. If it's not, you can change anything at this point with your pins. Once you have that fitted and pinned to your liking, then you can just sew straight down where your pins are. I don't do anything special with the waistband. Like I said, this is like the easiest, fastest option that I kind of do when I'm taking in pants. So since these pants are super lightweight, it's not gonna matter like either way. Like I said, probably don't try this on jeans. I have before and it's like not the best way to do it for sure. So anyway, let's get to sewing. Always, always, always try on my pants right after I stitch them up because I wanna make sure that they fit before I serge or cut off any of that excess fabric. So make sure you try your pants on right after you sew them. And then I like to just use my serger to kind of serge off that excess fabric on the inside. And this is what that finished seam will end up looking like. If your pants are lightweight enough, serging that fabric off from just the very top of the waistband to the bottom of your seam, it's comfortable, you know, it's not gonna bother you. But if you have a little bit thicker pants and you're doing this method, I would definitely press that seam open on the waistband and kind of finish that off a little bit differently than I have done here because it might bother you on the inside of your pants. But otherwise, that's it for my super easy and quick pants alteration method. So that is it. That's what I like to do now. I will say it all depends on the type of pants that you wanna take in. If you had pants with pockets, your situation might be a little bit different because if you take in too much from that back seam, your pockets might merge like a little bit too close together. So you might have to move the pockets. I've done that before. Or you might wanna look into taking in the side seams. But for simple pants like these, no pockets, very thin, lightweight material, this is definitely the way to go for sure. Now, I got this top at the thrift store as well and it's a real bummer because it's little like it's little, just the littlest too big in the armpits so i just wanted to try and uh take it in and show you guys how i do that as well this top is too cute i love it but this isn't the cutest look so i'm thinking all i'm gonna do is just do kind of like the same method as my pants flip the top inside out pinch in and just kind of sew one line down
So I made sure that my pins were equal on both sides of the armpit so that I would have a nice even fit. And then I added more pins all along that sleeve and down the side seam to give myself an easy trail to follow when I was stitching under my sewing machine. So as you can see, I kind of went with a tapered seam. So I stitched in the amount that I needed from the armpit holes, and then I kind of tapered that out to the original seam. Since this top is designed to be super flowy and loose fitting, this kind of seam worked super well for the design of this top. Then I surged off all of that extra fabric just as I did the pants. And then since the surged seam kind of popped out of the sleeve a little bit at the bottom, I stitched that seam down on the sleeve so that it wasn't as noticeable and that was it. for you. I wanted to do like a basic video like this because these are the two methods that I have used on so many of my thrifted finds. You know, you find a really unique um, pair of pants like these and you just want them to fit you. And it's really not that hard to do if you have, you know, the right kind of tools in your belt. So I hope that this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. I'm gonna try and style these pants in like a Gucci-ish way on my Instagram, do some photography with that. If you wanna see that, head over to my Instagram. I appreciate you guys watching and um, I'll see you next time.